My name's Aaron. Welcome back to my channel. How are you? I'm fantastic and I'm doing really well. And today I'm viewing BDK Parfums to back rose. £195 for 100ml. This addictive and opulent fragrance intoxicated with the rich notes of tobacco, rose, spices and plum. Plum is one of my most favourite notes actually. I'm interested to know that initially I was going to release raw cherry with a plum fragrance together at the same time. We're going to release it next year and the name of it coincided with a film. We didn't even know that and we had to pull it. So that'll be coming out next year. I love plum fragrances. BDK Parfums Tobacco Rose blends addictive notes of tobacco with majestic Turkish rose. Boosted with spicy notes of pink pepper, carnation, plum notes join forces with chocolate for a rich and opulent body. This sounds like something I would make, chocolate, spices, all that sort of stuff. It's an Eda Parfum, floral, spicy, the base notes of tobacco, absolute, patchouli, labdomen. The middle notes of rose, cinnamon, chocolate accord, top notes of pink pepper, plum accord and lemon. Do we have a bottles of BDK Parfums, tobacco rose? Are we engaged with the higher self? Let's get testing. Nice atomizer. Light, airy, sweet tobacco. Ether motor whipping you through the face. It's quite intensely sweet, which I love. So this is uh, very nice. There are lots of ways to make a tobacco accord, vanilla, kumara, and all that sort of stuff. And then wood notes in it as well. It's lovely and radiant rose like. So, this is based upon clean white musks with phenyl ether alcohol. Phenyl ether alcohol, you, oh my gosh, it has so many different uses. In large proportions, it obviously smells of rose. In lower amounts, it does lots of different things. That's quite a metallic finish to it. It's a great top note. If you don't neutralize geranial, citronella, little, all that stuff, it doesn't really smell of rose in formulations kind of does but it doesn't if you add different things to it can be used great to sort of give a projection and sharpness to a formulation i think this is very nice it's quite addictive isn't it ether vanillin kumarin isobutan all of that is giving the chocolate feel with ether molto uh, wood like raw materials amber like raw materials constructed sweet it's very nice the construction of it is to anchor it to the skin and radiate off which is insanely difficult nothing dirty about it not really tobacco. It's not not what I would consider a tobacco fragrance, but what I've noticed on this journey is even trace amounts of tobacco accords, people really pick up as tobacco. So I imagine some people think of this as a, a tobacco construction with the naturals is really good patchouli, sandalwood, citruses, the pink pepper. Pink pepper is insanely expensive. I can't remember how much it was per kilo last time, but it's, it's gone up in price. It has lots of different effects within a formulation. How I think of it is it's not really spicy. It gives a clean bite when the citruses are used. A little bit of spice, I'd say, but it can be used to clean, give real clean edge to it. I bet this sells well. It's sort of sweet, fluffy, clean, chocolatey. It's making me hungry. I would call it more chocolate fragrance, actually. I love chocolate. Apparently, Video Unicorn says I use too much chocolate, but I don't think you can have too much chocolate, especially when you don't eat chocolate. I love the use of patchouli. Patchouli is one of my most favorite things. It can be used to darken or formulation. It works really well with lots of different things and that's what's happening within this. If you amped up the patchouli too much in this, you'd have nothing left because the construction is musk heavy. It reminds me, I'm gonna say, it reminds me a little bit of my work. I kind of instantly like it, to be honest with you. I think it's very nice and it sort of feels very familiar. This is how I construct work. It has a real creamy chocolate, gourmand rose feel to it. It is radiant, it is clean, it's sweet. Very delicious smelling. Never smelled this brand before. And I asked Max Aroma for what they would recommend for me to review. That's different, because I don't want my channel to go too the same stuff and I kind of want something a bit interesting to review. So it's interesting for me. I keep thinking I love the chocolate spices to it actually. I think it's very, very nice. Onto my final thoughts. I love it. I think it's very nice. Really beautifully constructed. And the more of the niche side of perfumery. I don't think this is suitable for everyone. Uh, not everyone wants to smell like um, chocolate. I do. Clean, fresh, radiant. Really beautifully uh, created and crafted. Safe, legal, compliant. That's what we like to see. Projection isn't like crazy on me, if I'm honest with you, but the longevity is kind of like out this world. So if you're struggling for fragrances to stick to your skin, 
this is kind of what I would suggest, but it's not super radiant. But I would imagine when you apply it and you start moving around and start heating up, I imagine it has a nice bit of projection to it. Do I like it? I love it. I think it's very nice. It, it uh, has a familiar aspect to it. And I think it's really gorgeous, actually. I'm going to mark it a 9 out of 10. My only caveat is I love the radiance out there. If the radiance was just sort of out there, uh, I would get a 10. But the longevity is I like off the scale. It's constructed beautifully and I think it's a beautiful fragrance, but on me, I just love it a little bit more, you know, just a little bit more. And for me, it's not really radiating off, but it is an addictive, beautiful smell. So I hope you love that review. Thumbs up and subscribe for fascinating, interesting content, lots of moving hands and lots of fragrance views. Hope you're staying safe and well. See you soon.